What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Tough Cookie Tea, also known as Toby. I am back with another video. Uh, this is a clothing haul with Nasty Gal. Um, and it's going to be quite nice because I've got new hair, guys. Ew. Get into it. So this is a massive clothing haul uh, for a plus size woman. But you'll basically see how the clothes fit on me. I am only three foot four. So um, that kind of, it, it, you know, it's kind of swings and roundabouts with clothes. Um, sometimes they fit really good and other times it's a bit of a struggle, which you're going to see. So let's get into it. So, the first item I ordered was this cardigan. I don't really know whether I like it. I'm not really sure. Is it me? I don't know. The, the idea I had, because firstly, purple is clearly my favourite colour. And so, I just wanted a purple item. And I thought, okay, let me, let me try and go for something that would suit me and something I genuinely like. See, oh god, it's all popping off. I was thinking to kind of slouch it, kind of thing. Oh god, is it a look? I don't know. I don't know. Let me let me get a bit closer and see. I mean, it's quite nice. It's quite nice. It looks all right. It's not bad. Like I could, I could rock it. To be fair, especially with this hair, it's very like pastel kind of you know um it's it's not that soft i will be honest it's just a normal knit kind of uh cardigan and um the sleeves are always gonna be long on me because <laughs> i'm short <laughs> so that's that but i kind of like this sort of gathering sort of look i just when i wheel my wheelchair obviously i'm gonna have to you know make sure that I, I'm careful but I don't mind it it's, I, it's growing on me it's a size 22 everything in this um, haul is size 22 so it I think it works I could I could definitely you know try and make it work to be honest and um, yeah I, it's got loads of room it's super stretchy super flexible like you can do you know you can sort of style it the way you want you can have it off one shoulder or okay so the next item i've got is this shirt it's it's patterned um i i quite like it it's, it reminds me of like african print and it's got this gold kind of um flashy like foil basically foil gold on it and um it looks like a nighttime top but you could rock it for the day so long as you've got like a lace top underneath so I will show you what it looks like without the lace I think it looks quite nice honestly I could definitely rock this and also you could have it off one shoulder again you know um, you could also kind of have it open because it's kind of mm, it gives you kind of a blazer vibe but I like it, it fits me quite well as well, and there's still quite a bit of room. So far, it seems like Nasty Girl gives you a bit more room, um, which I quite like. Um, more, majority of the time, if I order a 22 from, let's say, Boohoo or ASOS, or I think this is Fashion Over, it usually fits me, like, to the T. So, this, I, I, I mean... I, at least I know for next time, and you guys know as well, that you could order a 20 and it fit perfectly. So maybe an e even maybe an 18, maybe, at a stretch. You could try it, depending on the material. Okay. Right. I wanted to look cute <laughs> in this outfit. I had a vision. Okay? I had a vision. But it's, 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 it's not happening, guys. First of all, let me talk about the blazer. The blazer was supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to fasten. And even me, 
as good as my fingers are, it's just a bit complicated to put all the buttons together and try and, you know, fasten it. And not only that, when you're wheeling, it kind of gets uh, too close to the wheel. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would definitely return this because it's just, it's just flying away with the wheels and then I trip over. <laughs> it's just no good, okay? So that's, that's a no from there. Um, it does have pockets, but uh, actually no, it has a fake pocket actually, just at the top here, but down here there's no pockets, which is kind of good in, in, in a way because wheeling and pockets don't work anyway so i just wish this fit because i do quite like it i think i could wear this at an event or something like that now let's go down to the shorts the shorts on me because i've got quite a big bottom let me take off the jacket and just show you i've got quite a big big bottom as many short people do um that have like a type of dwarfism we all have a fairly big bum right so it kind of does cover my bottom quite well um and i could i could fit a thin belt on it but what i don't like is at the top here as you can see there's nothing to sort of keep you know us plus size girls with our bellies like it's not really smooth do you know what i mean there's nothing to keep it looking tidy up here with the belly so i'm not really a fan of that either what i mean what's happening here <laughs> this this it ain't it so the vision when it was on the model it looked really nice on me in real life real life versus reality i mean instagram versus reality it ain't it it ain't it throw it in the bin <laughs> return it back <laughs> but no honestly um I hope I find, I mean, I've found, like, the basic stuff, like cardigans and stuff, so far so good. But in terms of, I wanted to try a two-piece, which I'm not going to lie to you guys. Two-pieces are always a gamble when you're in a chair or you've, you're you fairly short because you, you just don't know how it's going to go. I would say to you, the best place for a two-piece so far that I've figured out is um, Fashion Over. Because... It's for curvy girls, and it's for all shape, shapes and sizes. Um, and not only that, it's not too, like, the material's, like, stretchy, and it fits, and it's quite close to the skin, whereas this is quite sort of flimsy and flappy, and I could really see myself getting stuck with my chair. It's just a bit, it's a bit awkward. Or if you're transferring onto, your, onto a seat or something like that, it's not, a, it's not an outfit that's convenient, basically. Uh, I want to just mention as well, on the button, right, uh, when, well, when you want to fasten the actual shorts itself, it's quite flimsy. It's literally on by a thread. <laughs> so when you want to put it together, it's literally one little plastic button and a zip. But again, the zip doesn't go all the way up. And the button is just one 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 meal away from from flying into someone's food. <laughs> so that's not it's not it, guys. <laughs> right. Okay. Listen, I'm all into this motorsport. Put that thing in sport. Hey, come on, come on. And my boobies are good. Okay. Um, okay, so let me let me be serious for a second. This is a bit loose, and I think it's because I've lost weight. So <laughs> I'm just I didn't. So this is a 22. Like I said, everything in this haul is 22, and I genuinely thought I was a 22. But maybe your girl is like 18 or 20. So I'm. You'll see in other hauls that I'm going to try and like explore my weight, like my not my weight my um clothing size because i'm not sure what clothing size i am now um but no i'm loving this outfit like i could definitely i got dance class this evening i could definitely rock this i could definitely rock this the material is kind of soft um and it's kind of like this spandexy 
kind of material. Um, so it's really, really stretchy. <laughs> really stretchy. <laughs> like, literally, I could fit in another person in here. I like it because it really does fit my bottom. As you can see, there is no gap. Usually, if I have shorts, there's like a massive gap. But to be honest, look, this is where my back starts. This is where my bottom stops. So it, it fits really well. I would size down uh, if you are sort of my kind of height and size. I think you, I would say to you, just size down. Obviously, currently in the plus size world, there isn't any clothes that's catered for petite plus size women, if that makes sense. Um, so currently, you just have to make it work and just work out where you fit in with the current fashion trends and, and if they fit you enough so that they're not loose, basically. So if you're able to do this, that means it's too big for you. Way, way, way too big. Yeah? Um, and the, both of the... So the top and the bottom, right? So the, the bottom is uh, got a thick, nice thick band, which is quite flattering on the tummy area. And uh, the same with the top. It's got a nice thick band. So again, because I'm quite short and also these clothes are kind of big for me at the minute, um, the gap isn't... like I'm forcing the gap right now because I'm trying to push the bra up and push the shorts down. So ordinarily on someone who's standing up, which I may, I may do a haul showing you the, the, the difference, but basically when, when you have someone who's standing up, obviously... Their whole torso is kind of like this. You see the difference? So because we're all sitting down, it's going to be like all kind of scrunched together. So you need to make sure you kind of size down if you're going to... Order. Okay. She's back with the bougie look. Knitted dress. Let me show you. Let me go back so you can see the full situation. So it goes right down to my ankles, which obviously on someone who's walking or standing, it's going to be like probably to their thighs. So when I order online, I generally kind of eyeball it and I sort of think to myself, right, if they were standing next to me, what would it look like on me? And generally, if the dress kind of hits them at the, just below the knees, I know it's going to be full length on me, right? So essentially, I've just paid for a maxi dress without people noticing. It's quite good. It's just now. Anyway, this uh, dress is quite soft. Um, it's not too thick. So, like, I, I would say to you, like, don't go out in the freezing cold without a jacket with this. Um, it's got no pockets or nothing like that. It's just a straight down dress. And obviously, it's got the roll neck. It's quite quite a lot the roll neck is very like there's quite a bit to it i think you know it, all all around it's it's got a lot of room as well so if you're one of those girls with quite a, quite a thick neck like me then you, you you should be good and what i like to do to style it i like to put my little necklace my signature necklace that i've had for ages i like to hang that out um but no, I really, I really like this. So, um, one of the good things about a dress like this when you go to the airport is that because it's super flowy and super baggy, um, uh, you, it's easy for you to go to the loo. It looks fashionable and you can go to the loo really easily um, when you're transferring onto chairs as well. So long as you've got like a dress that's kind of close, like, skin tight but not super tight then you should be good when you're transferring from you know the airport chair to your own wheelchair and vice versa um and it looks fashionable you can look cute um so it's my own adaptive wear basically um that's not supposed to be adaptive so um it is quite baggy so i i could either pull it like this but then it kind of defeats the purpose of the belt or just sort of have it like this. I kind of like it like this. This kind of ruched look. I could go down a size if I wanted to. But again, as I said, I like it kind of loose. So that I'm I'm able to get 
on and off the um, the chair to the airport wheelchair. All right, I'm going to show you the final piece, which is this humongous jacket. I didn't know it was going to be this big. I could literally fit three people in here. What is going on? <laughs> um, I think it's because, obviously, I, again, I'm quite short, so it's supposed to be for someone who is very long. And do you know what it was? The tip that I gave you about the dress and kind of eyeballing, um, like, like the length at where it kind of cuts off, I didn't check that with this coat. So maybe that's one of the reasons why it's too it's too long for me. Um, so just that's a tip also for coats. At least you know now. Um, but I love the look of this coat. It looks to me it looks expensive. You know, it gives you an expensive look. Yes, come on. Look at it. Oh my days! I look like I'm about to go for a swim in this jacket. Jesus. I really do. I look like. Look at this. Look at this. Come and see, you. Come and see. Hey, now, wow. This jacket is too much for my life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you see this? You people, are you looking at what is going on here? Hey, no, no. Let me back up for you so you. Look at this. Why am I swimming? What? swallowing me it's literally swallowing me I look like I just borrowed my auntie's jacket just to go across the yard you know what I mean I like the look um it is like this crocodile material but it doesn't feel like that I don't know how to explain it, it kind of feels um how can I explain it it feels kind of soft like a vinyl kind of material um, and kind of, yeah, that shiny sort of vinyl material. Again, I like it. I just think I need to go down a size because even the arms are living their best life. The arms are just swimming around. And even if I was to roll it, which sometimes I do do with jackets, I don't know, does it look... Mm. <laughs> no, because if it rains, we're done out here. We're actually done out here. This is going to get soaked, so it's a no from me. This is a way. Uh, no, no, send it back. Send it back. Sorry, nasty girl. You've got to do better. Do better. Do better. Look at this. I look like, um, what do you call it? I look like Slender Man. Why do I look like Slender Man, please? No. Quick recap. Um, I. I think what I learned through this whole experience with Nasty Gal is firstly that uh, the two pieces that I tried on that you saw it the brown the brown um, outfit I think with that it would look really nice but because it's made for someone who is quite long who's quite tall the blazer is too much and also the shorts as we saw weren't really fitted properly if you're gonna buy it you'd have to definitely like you know alter it yourself um and i get I, th I think with everything else that i kind of tried on like the shirt and everything i think i need to just basically go down a size so as i said if you do happen to be a plus size girl firstly trying to lose weight then i would suggest that you get a size down or, number two, if you are a shorter woman, um, let's say four feet and under, um, then just, I would say, just basically look for cropped things in jackets. So cropped jackets that are, you know, sort of, let's say on the model, uh, like uh, knee length rather than ankle length. So there. And um, with everything else, as I said, just size down. But I, I really enjoyed the pieces, if I'm honest. I wanted to go out of my comfort zone. I wanted to try um, a printed shirt because I'd never really done a printed shirt before. And I wanted and that sort of nighttime, sort of bedtime um, 
outdoor wear i wanted to give that a go and then obviously this i i've never really gone for a sort of roll neck jumper dress before so i wanted to give that a go and i think it all in all, the best thing that I've liked so far, which you see me in, is this, to be honest. Um, it's cosy, and I like the fact that it's baggy on me, and it, it goes with the look. All you need is, like, a nice little handbag, and, and maybe a hat if you wanted to, and a nice little jacket, and you're done, really. You can, up, you, you know, you can put it up and make it, like, a fancier wear with, with heels, or you could, like, sort of, just wear it with ordinary shoes anyway i hope you enjoyed my first ever haul i will be doing more so make sure you like comment and subscribe and tell me what else you want me to try on um i really want to hear what you guys have to say about these pieces and um, let me know which one was your favorite even if it didn't look quite right what was your favorite what would you wear um would you buy it um, and if not, why not? Just let me know. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. So, um... <laughs> Give it a minute. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll have a bit of tongue cut so you can just cut. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I can swear to God that I can't be the video. <laughs> <laughs> Ned, it's got a B-roll. No. It's fine. When, when is that? Come on, I've lost it. Come on. Come on down to the flashy coat. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't hoping to call that a chain, man. No, I'm not. Listen, I've got this. <laughs>